guys! Welcome back to another episode of Onia Kingdom. This is Bryony Parker, and guess who died? No, not Isaac. Caitlin. Bryony's youngest daughter, Caitlin, died before Isaac. Now, Isaac is the only one alive out of all Bryony's kids. But anyways, let's get to her funeral. I am really sorry I didn't catch her death. Literally, she died, and I didn't. I just missed it. So, yeah. But at least you get to see her funeral, so. But wow, already three of the siblings of Isaac's dead. Last night, a traveler left for Ganos, guided by the god Naga. The remains have been laid to rest in our kingdom, and now their soul can find everlasting peace among the gods. We can no longer speak as before, but through the gods we can sense the departed soul, as long as those of us who remain here do not forget. Gods in heaven, we ask that you wrap our brethren in the cloth of peace. Holy Shizni, give those remaining in this world your love and soul. And we're back. So I forgot this is White Knight, and I need to cover White Knight, of course, because, of course, I'm Dragoon again, Edgar, of course. But let's do the dragon face-off once again. Edgar, second time in a row, becoming the Dragoon once again, which is cool and whatever. And then Samantha will probably be the next. But yeah, anyways, on to the dragon battle, or Bagwell dragon battle, so. Because I beat all my opponents, so yeah. This is the day you've all been waiting for. The day once in every four years that the hero, the kingdom's strongest warrior, will challenge the guardian dragon of our kingdom of Elnie Bagwell. Edgar Dyson! Now the strong pulse of wings in the sky draws near. The dragon who's guarded our kingdom for over 300 years, Bagwell Milneos. And here he comes, yet again. I saw Angie there for a moment. <laughs> Anyways, there he is. Hi, nice to see you again. I've been waiting four years. I've been waiting four years for this day. I hope you put up more of a fight than the monsters that have not forced human. As he smiles. I'll be brief. Bagwell, waiting here is your opponent for this year, Edgar Dyson. This won't be as easy as catching your dinner in the forest. I waited for years, so I'd hope not. <laughs> Hero Edgar Dyson, show no restraint. Whip the floor of the arena with this insolent dragon. As your majesty commands! As Edgar does his work, of course. Anyways, so of course I need the Jasper Goddess statue for this. So I could win easy. And it's on fast, and this should be very easy. Yep, I won. You lost, Bagwell. <laughs> this dragon's so easy when you're so strong. That's enough. Winner, Edgar Dyson. That was impressive for a human. So be it. As per the pact, I grant you a dragon drop, which I'll be giving to Samantha. It is the crystallized magical power and strength of the dragon tribes. Use it to increase your strength. I am greatly pleased to honor you with this treasure of the Dragon Tribes. And now we will be honored to hear a word from their majesty. Splendid work by the hero Edgar Dyson. In honor of today's victory, I grant you the title of Dragoon. I am grateful to receive this vulnerable title. The right to search all dungeons in the kingdom will be given to the Dragoon. And from their majesty, you will receive the dragoon sword and secret skill, which is actually the axe, which I already have, so I have no need for it. And I already got the skill, so no need for that. As well as 10,000 bay, which will be nice for money. Yay! Now then, our guardian dragon. We, the people of the kingdom of Olnie, will not forget your, our, our, excuse me, our pact with you. And we will be secure in the knowledge that we are blessed with such a warrior. I see that is true. I eagerly wait the day four years from now. I bid you farewell. As I win. But I think you remember in another episode I showed the um, dragon drop and I will show it yet again now that I've actually got it again. Because every single time you beat Bagwell you will receive it. So this is a dragon drop and which is a lunch item. It's a dragon's gem that boosts all it, um, abilities experience to a maximum of 80,000. So your best um, XP increasing item is definitely so far going to be the dragoon or blah, blah, not dragoon, but the dragon drop. So, 
Alright guys, last day you get to enjoy Edgar, so this is our last day with him. And then we transfer over into Samantha. Let us eat. Blah blah blah. We'll get over this. See the full table here. Last time I said that, um, look at this huge table. I actually meant in that video that I meant to say full table. So yeah, look at this full table. It is just filled to the brim. Filled. Huge. Do I want to pick herbs? No, I want to transfer over into my daughter. Samantha? No, I don't want to... Er, Samantha, yes. Okay. So, again, the time has come to pass down to Samantha. So, time to pass on down and, of course, get to know the prince. So, when I look at you, Samantha, I'm reminded of my childhood. You were little once too, Dad. Do you want to be a child again? Pass down to child. Take over. Okay. And we'll save o or Edgar on the empty one. And I do want to remove everything I have. Pretty sure that's the right one. Yeah, remove. So this is how you make sure you get all your items. You go to remove. And then you have everything. So I'm pretty sure I have everything. Yep, I have everything. So you, as you can see, that's the option you choose in order to remove everything that you had on your other character. As you can see, I have a Flame of Passion ready, so if like the prince ends up with someone else, I can break them up. But it's on purpose, of course, so we can get into royalty, of course. But anyways, something I want to put on my daughter... Uh, oh yeah, that's it. The Ribbon Yellow Checker, because it's just really cute on her. Oh, whoops. And you go into character. And as you can see, it just looks really cute on her. The yellow checkered ribbon. I'm not sure if you can get this on the Switch version. Not sure. If you can, though, that would be really cool, though. Because all the ribbons are just absolutely pretty. In fact, I'm trying to collect a bunch of varieties as much as I can. But anyways, until I get back to you guys when I get closer to the prince. Okay, guys. We actually managed to find the prince, fortunately. So... We're going to try and become friends with him because apparently she was an acquaintance with this guy, so that's a good thing. Wait, Mikkel, not done yet. Friends, okay. And of course, we're going to try and get to be close friends, get this done as quick as possible, spend as much time as I can with Mikkel before he becomes a grown-up before me. So, Mikkel, nope, we're going to be close friends with you, Mikkel. Can we be closer friends? No, I'm not, I'm not taking that for an answer. You better be my close friend. Mikkel! No, nope, Mikkel. You will be closer friends with me. <laughs> I'm not giving up until you're closer friends with me, Mikkel! Come back here! Yay! And it worked. And I'm going to take this advantage to go and do a little playtime thing. Do you want to go to play? Let's play. Hmm, not this time. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm not taking no for an answer, Mikkel. Nope, nope, I want Mikkel. Mikkel, no, Mikkel, nope, Mikkel, ah! There we go, got him. Let's play, thank you. So yeah, we're now friends with the prince. And I'm going to be hanging out with him for this week's time in order to have a lot of time with him formed up. And then when he turns into adult, we're going to try and sound thirsty for Mikkel. And no, not in a strange way, but in a good way. I know usually thirsty wouldn't be used in a term like that for wanting another guy, but in the sense, it's it's needed. So, yeah. And we're going to see if maybe when I sound thirsty for him, he's going to want Samantha and not be with anyone else in that whole entire year and wait for her to be an adult. So, I really don't know. I mean, I really don't know. We're here. What do you want to do? Let's run for now. We'll think of something along the way. Hey, wait up! It's really big. Look, it has great horns, too. I thought rudders were big and scary, but they're gentle. Yeah, they don't get upset even if you get close. They're nice animals, despite their looks. If you really look, they have such cute round eyes. You're right, that's so cute. Let's head back. Right, we should go home before the sun sets. And anyways, that was becoming friends with Mikkel. So, I just wanted to do this also because kind of important too so uh right the dragon um drop because i was going to use that for um let's see here where is it dragon drop ah there it is 
and I'm going to use it for Samantha here because, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to put it away. I meant to use it. Whoopsies. Use. There we go. Now her stats are even bigger than before. What are her stats at now? 143, 141, and 140. Wow. <laughs> She's now an overpowered um, child, I mean. Yeah, overpowered child. I was trying to get the term, but yeah. Until the, um, the end of this episode, which will be Sounding Thirsty for Mikkel. Alright guys, the moment you've all been waiting for. When I sound thirsty for Mikkel, we're going to try this. So, hello, hello. Is something going to come up? Is that it? Is that all I'm going to get? Okay guys, option came up to sound thirsty for Mikkel. So, I'm going to ask him, and I know for a fact he is single. This is literally just the second day, so I am going to go ahead and ask this. Um, hello, are you dating anyone these days? Um, hello, are you dating anyone these days? Um, I don't know. It's not something that ever really crossed my mind. Well, once I'm all grown up, I'll be your blushing bride. Um, well, only if you grow up to be a wonderful adult. Got it? Really? That's a promise! Oh! Oh! Mikkel? Are you serious? Literally? Was this guy not kidding when he said that? Oh my goodness. He's like, yeah, I think I might consider you. <laughs> that is a shocker. Wow. Well, we'll have to see if he holds to his promise in the future. So I'll just keep an eye on him the entire time because I can easily. And then, yeah, until then. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you on the other side.